Yo, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to go over the Rainbow Six Siege best attachments now for this season here, North Star. So there's actually a change this season. You know, over the seasons I've been, you know, adjusting a few things, but generally it's been kind of the same, but the attachments actually changed what they do for the first time in a long time. So I'm going to pop that up right here. So compensator change, flash hider change. Flash hider is the really important one there. Now involves vertical recoil. Muzzle remains the same. Compensator is a really good for any gun with just little horizontal sways. So there are some glitches with these new attachments, so they might tweak them a little bit more. If you guys want more information on the glitches, uh, a good video that I saw that showcased these really well is Rogue9. He showed the glitches with the new attachments. I think they'll get resolved here soon. And as always, some of these really do come down to personal preference, personal opinion on the specific weapon. So don't take this as the end all be all. Test the muzzles a little bit. And also when you're looking at this, the attachments, the main one you should be looking at is the muzzle. This is going to make the biggest difference. And then this is either going to be vertical or angled. I sometimes put vertical on things that I know I theoretically shouldn't put vertical on. But once again, it's personal preference. Angled grip, you'll zoom in faster. Vertical grip is all about stability. So it's going to help your accuracy more if you ever struggle with that with any weapon. So if you struggle with it, put vertical on. If you don't, put angled on. And that's how uh, that's how I at least would do it. And then as for the scope, pick whatever scope you want. Sometimes I don't do the, the maximum scope. Sometimes I'll do a 2X or something. So that one is really personal preference. But this is just exactly what i do and why i do it so we're gonna start off obviously with sledge so l85 is the move here and i still think flash hider is the best for that that or muzzle one or the other smg 11 is the secondary we go hollow flash vertical and then nades so that's how we're gonna go over every single one don't mind the horrendous looking badges if you guys see them they change those and they look terrible in my opinion something that really did not need to be fixed so we're gonna go through all of them so for thatcher we are gonna do the same thing the 2x flash vertical grip grip it's the same weapon the l85a2 we do the pistol every single pistol has a muzzle break on it that's not going to change for every single every single one's going to have a muzzle so i'm not going to click into every single one then we go into probably you're going to want to claim more so with Ash, the R4C's recoil was actually increased. The vertical recoil was increased. So even the horizontal recoil, I think, was increased to the right side. So R4C, hollow, flash, vertical grip, that's kind of your best move here. And I really do think the R4C is not as good as it was. So you might even want to consider the G36C if you do want to consider that. I would bump it up probably to the one and a half times, give this thing a flash, and then have it at vertical grip or angled grip, personal preference. But for me, I go R4C, I go the the M45, every one that every pistol I do, I always do the one with the most damage for the most part. And then a claymore. Usually I don't need an additional breach since I'm already a breach operator. So thermite, we have the 556XI. We have just the 2.5 times or the two times, depending on what you want to do. So two and a half times comp angled. If you're struggling with the recoil, I would first switch to a 2X. And if you're still struggling, then change this to a vertical. M45, and then you have stun grenades. The F2 can be really good. And I think that's the best option out of all these. So I'm going to only show that one. one point five times flash vertical and then i actually am not going to do the higher damage on whenever it's a revolver because i do like the pistol the standard pistols being able to actually there being 16 rounds in the magazine instead of just like six even though it does do drastically more damage but i'm still always going to go with uh, this one and then a claymore as well now on to the next operator it's montane so this is just a pistol another pistol and then we're going to move on to glass this one there is not much you could do to the operator at all because it's just two options i do like to do the muzzle break though and this is all personal preference hollow is the easiest visibility in my opinion at least then as for the secondary you have the the option to do the gone six which is good sort of it, it kind of was a bust here but if you did this and the frags you have a lot of destructibility but you do want to keep the smoke so if you do want destructibility i would just use the gone six but if you if you just want the pistol use the pmm it's kind of tough here because we really don't have a good secondary option it would be nice if they had a machine gun pistol fuse you have the ak here so the ak is the option it's one of the best weapons in the game 45 damage 850 fire rate so hands down, I like to use the 2X because they changed these ones to the Russian ones and I do not like them and the 2X is still standard. So I keep the 2X muzzle or flash muzzle or flash either or really I would test them for yourself, but muzzle works well with me but flash might also work really well for you. I don't know. That's all up to you. And this is a weapon I like to shoot and it be a straight laser. So I'd pick the vertical grip whenever I'm on this one. Additionally, we use the PMM because it has 61 damage. One of the highest damage pistols in the game with a decent capacity. 
As for the gadget, I like going with the breach charge. I find it more useful since I'm playing vertically a lot, but if you do know that there's hatches, you might want to switch this before the round starts. This could be one that you switch off quite often with fuse. And now on to what? Blitz it is. So Blitz has the pistol again. Once again, just do the muzzle or even if you want, especially with Blitz, do a laser sight because a laser sight gives you the ability to kind of hit fire better and that's pretty useful with shields. Next up, we're going into IQ. IQ has a good loadout. Pretty much a few guns are actually really good. They've been kind of nerfing the G8 over the past few, basically the past year has been nerfed a lot and I don't run it that much, but if I were to run it hollow comp vertical, I actually like to run the 5.52. Right now, some people think it's the worst, but I honestly think the damage is just so good on it and it shoots really nicely but the g8a1 does have a lot of spray ability so this is the test server so it messed this up but i like to run this exact loadout one and a half times comp angled grip and then the only pistol you could pick and then we also have breach or claymore this one's always personal preference but claymores is really the more easy one because you could set it down every single round breach charge you actually have to think it through buck there's only one real good choice except if you like dmrs but i don't think siege is the best for dmrs because since it's a one-shot headshot anyways you probably want more of a faster fire rate and that's exactly what the c8 is but you only get a hollow and you get a muzzle you also have the option of 1.5 times i just find it to be a little bit cumbersome kind of don't like the design it's just not it for me so i like to go with the hollow for this one mk1 9 mil you got 48 damage just do the muzzle and i like to run stun grenades here with buck i just wish buck still had frag grenades it's unfortunate he doesn't it's been a while now and i'm still not over it but we'll get over it one day now we got blackbeard i'm gonna recommend you probably don't use blackbeard this season not very good at all i just have it set up with how i've had it set up i have not tested this one so you might need to test this yourself i actually would just not recommend using blackbeard this is what worked really well last season hollow flash vert and i'm sure it's still the same so i do that vertical grip is good with blackbeard though because for the most part you're already ads with blackbeard it's not an operator you're running around with without being ads got the deagle and then a breach or a stun. Breach is good if you want to do some hot breaches, and that's pretty much all Blackbeard is fun for. Capital, we got, um, we have a few good guns, but the Para is a really good one that I like to use. 48 damage, 650 fire rate, but you also have the option of the M249. The downside to this is longer reload times, but you do have a massive capacity and also ADS time. That's really down downside to this, so I kind of like doing the AR better because this one has a really fast ADS time. You could either and run a vertical on it or you could really speed it up but yeah if you want to run the para do hollow flash angled if you want to run the lmg the m249 do the 2x compensator hands down use the compensator and then a vertical grip also i'd advise using the prb since it's the only one you can use and then also use claymores so with habana they the type 89 is the best weapon but they did add the two and a half times back up to her i still think the recoil is a little crazy on habana whenever you have it at this so depending on how i'm feeling i think hollow can be better in a lot of situations you pick for yourself but the two and a half times are hollow and then the other ones are flash hider and then vertical grip for the recoil as well the recoil is a little crazy on this weapon so i like to calm it down at least a little bit by having the vertical grip not so much care about the ads time if you want the fastest ads time do angled grip and then you have the barrel stuffer bearing nine hollow flash and then you also have sun grenades jackal has a bunch of beamers on his uh loadout the c70e is the one i would use the pdw i just i don't see a reason to pick it over the c70 ever so this weapon's a beam so 2x flash and angled grip absolute laser of a weapon fast ads time it's actually one of the best loadouts of the game by far and you have a choice between a handgun or a shotgun shotgun's really really interesting if you want to be able to move the map around so i kind of like having it and i don't have to use this that much anyways so i just go with the shotgun and then a claymore to watch the flanks since that's kind of the role of jackal anyways is capturing the flankers and roamers ying has the lmg and it actually works really well more like an ar honestly only an 80 round mag which is a little less than other lmgs 2x flash angled is what i I would run on that and um, that'll do pretty well for you. I wouldn't use this, uh, the 612. It's just a shotgun that uh, does not hit hard enough, honestly. The Q9 muzzle and then smokes or hard breach. Smoke is better in my opinion because you're able to have more throwables. And that's really all Ying is. Just throw a bunch of stuff in the site, see what happens. That's pretty much how a lot of people play Ying and smoke plays really well with that play style. Zof, one of my favorite operators, has always been my favorite. 
and that's the one I'm going to recommend to you. This LMG is just it's actually really, really good. But Zofia's main weapon is just hard to compete with it. So 2X flash angled is what I like to go with it. It really is very powerful. The 2X is really nice. Makes the recoil very manageable, at least in my opinion. Flash angled. But if you do want to use the LMG E, do a 2X comp vertical. That should be good for you. And then the RG15 hand pistol. And then you also can do a claymore. As with Doak, you have a really uh, good operator actually boss g or the mk this is the only the issue with this is you don't have the best selection of weapons but the gadget's really good and i think they made that like that on purpose the 3x actually works really well with the dmrs if you want to play closer though 2x works as well then i like to run a muzzle and a vertical for the vertical uh kick it actually does help plus you're not going to be able to really quick scope anyone with the 3x anyway so vertical does not harm you unfortunately your options here are either smg or gun six the smg 12 is chaos you can't do much with it anyway and you have to be very close and sputter fire that's my tip sputter fire stun grenades also work really really well with the dokubi calls same thing with smokes though so that's up to you but stun grenades are easier lion and finca these guys both have a simple loadout you just pick one of these weapons and the only real options v308 and i'd say 2x flash angled on that weapon and then you also have a magnum or a gon 6 in this situation only in this situation i would pick the gon 6 you just get a little more versatility with lion and something you really don't have usually so having the soft breach is actually pretty nice and then stuns or claymores claymores are good if you are clearing things if you're roam clearing with lion which is something you should do once you clear something then you can set a claim war to watch that flank that you just cleared to make sure no one flanks around what you just cleared. Finca, once again, only one real good weapon. You got the spear. The spear has the choice of the 2X. That's kind of the only scope I like out of all of these. And then you only are allowed to use the vertical grip and then you have the flash hider as well. But yeah, I'd go with the 2X on that. And this is the same situation where we don't have much versatility. So I do the Gon 6 and I also do the hard breach charge. So I have the choice to actually do more with Finca because her gadget's really quite situational maverick you have the ar or the m4 i don't like the dmrs in this game so hollow or 1.5 times hollow feels really really good for the recoil and then a flash and a vertical a vertical is something that is just something i do if you want to do angled though that's all you but with this i have zero recoil which is really really nice it's easy really easy to control 1911 muzzle and then frag grenades you want to use this in correlation with maverick torch holes throw them through the holes destroy the bandits on the other side it's like clockwork as for nomad we go loadout and then we have two options the arx is the better weapon however it has a really low capacity that's the only reason i would pick the ak it only has 20 capacity but it's still enough to do work in this game and then you have your choice of scopes i do hollow or 2x hollow or 2x depending on how close i'm going to play hollow if i'm trying to play more aggressive 2x if i'm just trying to have at least the ability to have that more zoomed in magnification the 2x magnification without being the ACOG. Then a flash hider. This is the best pistol. This pistol is fun to use and it has like an ACOG on it, but it's just not very good. But this pistol is really good. And then you have the stunts. Now gridlock. This is a great, great operator for you for both weapons. The F90 is a really good AR. I like to play it more as like a SMG though. We have a pretty high uh, fire rate and it kind of feels more like an SMG. So I put a hollow on it and I play a little bit more up there but you can also run the acog 2x depending on whatever you're feeling and then the flash hider of course and then the m249 so same deal as whenever we did capital it's the same weapon 2x comp vertical and you also have the choice of a shotgun which is something i would actually pick with these and then smoke grenades as well and now let's move on to the next one which is nook i wish we had more versatility with this one but you only have the fng9 one and a half flash and then you have the deagle which i like to use and then also frags but it's just it's a really weird composition for nook it doesn't really fit um the operator, I wish it was a little bit different. I just wish they changed that up. Amaru, we got the G8A1, but the thing about this G8A1 is you have the choice of the ACOGs, which makes it so, so good, and it makes it the go-to choice. So 2X comp angled is, the, this is the best loadout by far. The, from my testing, at least the compensator is the best, no matter if you have the 2X hollow, whatever. And the angled is good because you are going to be uh, in those situations where you really need to aim in very, very fast. And that helps with that. You also get the choice of SMG 11. We're just doing the flash hider again, hollow flash vert, and then uh, stuns or hard breach. I don't find myself ever really using many of these whenever I'm using this op, but stuns probably would be used a lot more though. Not much customization with Cali, but you do have this big old sniper. You don't get to do anything there, but you have a really big choice here. SMG nine or the C75. C75 is 
is statistically kind of better because you have better fire rate, but it does not have the best sight with the SMG9. You actually do get a built in little like red dot almost. So this is the one I use. We have a couple more attackers and then we got the 30 defenders. We're doing all 60 here in this one. So Iana, we have the standard G36 as well as ARX. In this situation, the G36 is that one that has higher fire rate, lower damage, more capacity. So this one really is quite interesting, but damage does matter a lot. So I just want to go with the same exact one that we've been going with. And you don't have the choice of the 2X. I don't personally really run the 2.5 ever. And I don't like the 1.5, so I just go with the hollow. Then MK1 frags. Ace, you have the AK just like Fuse. Very good. Only choice here. It's that or a, a shotgun with 34 damage. So do whatever, but 2.5 times muzzle or vertical. I change this between muzzle and flash all the time. Never touch compensator with this. That's my best advice. Big mistake I always see. Handgun muzzle and then a breach charge or a claymore. You're already a hard breach. I don't think you really need much soft breach, so a claymore could be good to watch those pesky run out. Zero, super underappreciated up, but you also have the choice of the MP7. Now, this is really, really, a, I think it's the second best AR and you have the 2X as well. So it's kind of hard to pass this up. 2X flash eggled. So if you're more of an AR person, that's it. But if you do find yourself playing a little more aggro, MP7 is not too shabby and you can run a muzzle on it. Muzzle is probably the best for the MP7. Flash and muzzle are so close together though. And I think that's a part of kind of the glitch, I guess. But I think muzzle will remain the best for the MP7. And I know I say I don't like the 1.5 times, but this gun is the exception. I would use it on this weapon if need be, but usually just hollow or better yet, just do uh, the irons. The irons on this one are really Really, really good i would try them out for you yourself then of course you have the sam fisher weapon and then you also have the choice of hard breach charges i don't really ever find those that useful unless if you're really planning out the round in advance if you're not though claymore is just that go-to you might eventually get a few random kills here and there which are somewhat satisfying so that's why i'm picking claymore a lot over the other thing last one flores so there is no flores slander allowed in this chat even though people like to hate on the op but the ar33 two x slash angled sh and then a stun or claymore i like to use the stuns now we're heading over to the other side of the aisle and heading to defenders so let's crank these out and these should be pretty fast there's not much customization you can really do with some of these so we're just going to go over this, this is going to be the smg 11 and the shotgun i don't really care what scope you use for the shotgun but i do like to add the laser onto every shotgun i use and then the smg 11 hollow flash vert then you, if you have the choice of deployable shield, it's usually the move because there's not many operators with the deployable shield anymore. So shoddy so SMG 11, that one as well. And then you go mute. The technically best one to use would be shotgun SMG 11. Same exact thing as smoke. Before you guys that aren't any good with the SMG 11, use the MP5K, do the 1.5 times, do the flash. 1.5 times is actually really good on defense. So if you're on a defending weapon and you have the 1.5 times, I use that most of the time. Gives you a little bit of an upper hand on the attackers that and then you have the option of the c4 so i would pick the c4 now on to castle you do have the ump the ump is the worst weapon in the game not even arguably kind of arguably with frost but you do at least have the choice of the 1.5 times on whenever you're on castle with this i found that the compensator really does do well with the ump if, if you have the angled grip on it as well so this works really well together not very much recoil anyways but this works specifically really really good 5.7 or shoddy shoddy for those rotation holes and then a bulletproof i find a little bit more useful than proximities pulse is exactly the same comp angled and then you can only use the hollow so just use that you can also use the shotgun it is good for vertical play it's just i don't really run shotguns on anything that's just a me thing though then m45 it has better damage with pulse you need to run nitros use the nitro cells play under wherever you're looking look vertical with the pulse scanner c4 it is actually one of the most day one strats that still works it's crazy now we're going on to doc though doc is probably one that you're not going to use much this season due to the new op being pretty much better than it in every single way but you do have the option of the 90 or the mp5 at least you have a 1.5 times now on doc i know you've had it but really at a disadvantage that it doesn't have a true like 2x at least i use flash vert on the mp5 both of these are really just 
not good like if you look at the damage they're both pea shooters so you really need to hit the heads if you're using any of these i would i just would not use doc at all as for rook though that might be an option the only thing that's going to change with the mp5 on rook is just add a 2x to it otherwise it's the complete same other than that m9 and then impacts tapkin you have a really really solid no recoil weapon 9 by 19 you have the choice of the 1.5 times a lot of people don't like to use it they like to use the hollow that's why i have it at that i do though I like to use 1.5 times on defense when I have to, even though the scope is just, I just don't like that line or whatever, but I get over it at least on defense. There's not much recoil here. So we go angled and we go flash. Flash is really the common one, the common one that's pretty OP right now. So a lot of these, if you haven't noticed, are flash. PMM, then impacts or nitros. Sometimes you do need the impacts for rotations, but the nitro is better because you actually have some kill potential with it. But if you really didn't need those rotations and you see that none of your team is running a shotgun or impacts, that's when I would use impact. Otherwise, use the nitro. Chanka, not much customization because you have the, the good weapon, the DP-27, hits like a tank, which you have to use the reflex sight. You have the choice of the PMM, so use the PMM and then the barbed wire. Jaeger's weapon got absolutely mauled, but the 416 is still the best, best one. Hollow, muzzle, vertical. But Jaeger really did get hit hard. The unfortunate thing for Jaeger, though, is just like you need to run the ADS is so you kind of have to still run Jaeger even though his weapon has kind of screwed him up some people are still chilling with it I think this still works pretty well but that's that's just me bandit this is the one where I'm weird I go mp7 I take this hollow off and I keep that flash on or I even go with muzzle muzzles better I think when you have hollow and then flash is kind of better if you use iron sights that's just what I have found but uh you know change them accordingly don't touch comp or suppress though p12 use those uh nitro cells use that muzzle break and then we're on to the next one we're going to cruise through these defenders as i said not much customization a lot of these are just flash hiders this is just like this loadout is just awful the only good thing about this is you get a deployable shield this weapon like this fire rate is terrible it does have no recoil though i always say that it's pretty good because it does have no recoil you also have the 1.5 time other than that though it's pretty trash extended barrel doesn't really do that much for you I just keep it off. So this is what I run. Um, I run the shotgun. I run the deployable. But I say I run that, but I, I don't remember the last time I played Frost. Now, Valk, this is one that hits home here. It does not have very much recoil. Hollow, flash, and then angled grip for most of you. Vertical grip to... It's a weird thing but it works really 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 well and i use it but angled grip is also very very viable so this is one of those weird ones that i do vertical but yeah i recommend angled eagle and then c4 and then we are on to the second row now and then we go to cav not much customization at all here because you're locked with the pistol and do much to the pistol and then you're also going to want to use the shotgun because this is your medium range slash long range this really isn't good at long range none of this is but this is at least better than this so i do this and then shoddy and impacts to get around the map a little bit better so now echo echo is another one that's been hit hard but at least you have a deployable shield with this but bearing nine the the barrel stuffer mp5 no question about it 1.5 angled and then we got mira the vector you got the hollow flash vert we do not have that 1.5 times that sweet 1.5 times but we do have a hollow weapon still good very high fire rate like very very high fire rate and then the shotgun's really good and then the c4 shotgun and c4 kind of run hand in hand create the shotgun holes on the high end and then throw the z4s over them lesion you lost the 1.5 times but it's okay buddy this T5 is still very good with the hollow and also very good with the flash hider. Other than that, the Q9 and then the impacts are good to go with Legion. Ella, this is a uh, this is one that is just very, very difficult because you could sputter fire. And I think sputter fire, this is the best attachment loadout. But a lot of people just do not know how to sputter fire. So a compensator is usually the recommended one. But I like to do the flash. But do not shoot any more than nine bullets at a time. If you go over nine, this thing starts going absolutely berserk. Other than that, if you are staying in the site, I would use a deployable. If you're trying to roam, I would use barbed RG-15. And now we have Vigil. This one's easy. We go Impact, C75 over the SMG-12, and then K1A, Hollow, Flash, Angled. Hollow, Flash, Angled. This one's really easy as well. The Alda, there's no doubt about it. One of the best weapons, probably the best weapon on defense, mostly because you have a crazy fire rate, crazy good recoil, crazy capacity in your mag. Hollow, Comp, Vertical, pretty low recoil with that. And you have the bailiff. This is going to be good for your rotation holes, which makes it so you don't need the impact. So you can use the barbed wire. It helps slow down their push. Alibi, we have the MX4. 
This has pretty low recoil with the hollow muzzle angled. So hollow muzzle angled. And then we also have the Karatos or the Bailiff. So this kind of has the same concept as Maestro as you don't need the impacts if you do the Bailiff. So that's kind of why I like to run it like uh, so where we still get the deployable to put our Prismas behind. Clash, I'm not going to go over. Just use that SMG-12 if you are going to use Clash. Not much to it. Cade, you have the AUG A3, which used to not be my go-to, but now that it has a 1.5 times and one of the few on defense, it's actually pretty good as I set it up right here. 1.5 flash angled. You have the Magnum with good damage or you have the meme gun. Uh, of course, we're going this one. And then nitros as well. So this is just what I like to use. I don't really like this DMR or shotgun or whatever the heck it is that much. Mozzie, you have two very viable options. You have the Commando 9 or the P10. Just whatever you're looking for. The P10, I feel like this fire rate really makes up for any damage that it's lacking. I usually find myself using the P10. So I'll show this one first. 1.5 flash angled. But if you want to use the Commando, I put a vertical grip on it. If you ever are kind of unsure about the Commando 9, put a vertical grip on it and you'll soon become very sure about the M uh, Commando 9. I just find this fire rate being more uh, useful than the than the better damage for the most part. Other than that, you have the Mozzie, uh, either have Barbed or Nitro. This is sometimes hard to pick, but Nitro, you like the frag ability with the Nitro, so I got to go with the Nitro. But, you know, it's a toss up. Warden's Trash, just use the MPX though. Use the same one we use with Valk. And now onto Goyo because we have a vector with Goyo and that's the one I like to go with. We used to have a 1.5 times, I believe on this one as well, but no more. Then Flash Vert, then Nitro and the P2. So as you guys can see, the Defender weapons are pretty easy. I know we have a few interesting ones up here, including Wamai, because we have the AUG. With the AUG, you're gonna wanna use a Reflex. Try the Reflex out. The AUG becomes a powerhouse whenever you use it reflex I, I hate the reflex but with this weapon in specific something about it so this is what i like to use if i'm using this but if i'm using the mp5k same thing as mute where we pull out the 1.5 times scope other than that though you have the karatos which does hit hard and then you have impacts for rotations orc snatched a pretty good weapon the t5 so snatch it right from malusi but something that's very interesting that they added on to this one is they gave him the 1.5 times. So it does make orcs a little bit more interesting. Still a trash operator. But if you wish, you know, T5 all the way. T5 is the best SMG in the game. Bailiff for rotations and getting hatches and then barbed wire. I think he needs a little bit of a rework or retweak with what his gadget really does. It's just so loud. It's so noisy. In any competitive scene, it just he just gets slapped. This is, of course, who Orc stole the gun from, and now the MP5 is on Malusi, and it's absolutely trash. Hollow, Flash, Vertical, RG15, Nitro. Only good thing about Malusi is, of course, that sweet, sweet gadget. We have two more, including the new operator, but Aruni first. This is the only weapon that's a true like marksman rifle on defense, so this kind of makes it uh, attractive but at the same time you have the p10 and your roamer it's like dang very hard to pick anything other than the p10 whenever you have the p10 there but the barbed wire pairs really well with the gadget and then this pistol only option there and now finally if you haven't checked out the operator guide for thunderbird go ahead and check that out but you get none other than the barrel stuffer additionally though you get the spear which is interesting you don't get much customization with it and so you can just go with really whatever you want for your barrel but a hollow vert that's the go-to's and then pick whatever barrel you want flash or muzzle and then the, the good old nitro so that is all or north star that's all 60 of these operators as always this is a hassle to make these take forever so if you appreciate it leave a like and i'll re be responding to comments down below so please do ask any questions or let me know what you guys like to run instead of whatever i said so go ahead and leave that down below i'll be responding to you guys especially to the first comments i always respond to those so i appreciate you guys a lot see you in the next one